Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're all doing well. Root Beer here with question number three in part A on our 2015 Open Math Contest. So let's have a look-see, shall we? So what have we got in the given figure? A, B, C, D is a square with side length four. So A, B, yes, there's C, D, and then there's, so we got four there. Q is the midpoint of C, D. Okay. A, B, C, D is reflected along the line A, Q. To give a new square, A, B prime, C prime, D prime. The two squares overlap in quadrilateral ADQD prime. Determine the area of this quadrilateral AQ, ADQD prime. Okay. Well, it's really nice uh, that they have given us sort of a real clean way to, to uh, look at this quadrilateral. Okay. They've actually broken it down into what will end up being two right angle triangles. So we just need to sort of show our work, justify our steps. But there isn't going to be a whole lot to this question. The area of the quadrilateral we want is just the sum of the area of these two right angle triangles. So B, C, D prime, C prime, B prime, A, and Q. So we might say something like, and you don't actually, as I've mentioned already, you don't actually have to write any of this down, but you can if you've got time. So the area of ADQD prime equals the area of ADQ plus the area of AD prime Q. Now we could do one of two things. Uh, I think the simplest thing might be to say this is two times the area of ADQ uh, and you would say, sort of, we'll say down on the second line, you might say by symmetry. Okay. And this makes the question very easy because then you could say something like notice angle ADQ is 90 degrees, length AD is 4, length DQ is. Uh, CD over 2 because it's a midpoint, so that's 4 over 2 or 2. So the area of ADQ is 1 half base times height, which is going to end up being 4. Now, if you say that, okay, by symmetry, this triangle is just another copy of this triangle, you're done. You now say the area is 8. If not, you're going to want to use uh, sort of a symmetry argument to say, well, AD prime is 4, and similarly, Q should be the midpoint uh, of C prime, D prime, or say that QD prime equals QD. That would be fine as well. As long as you can justify these lengths over here, that's fine. But I think it's a little easier just to say, well, obviously both right angle triangles are going to be the same. They're mirror images. So let's just figure out the dimensions of one of them cuts down on my writing. So even if I'm writing down things because uh, I'm interested in, in getting part marks in case I screw up and go too fast, I'm still not writing down a whole lot and I'm not really subtracting my time from the later part B or part C questions. So to sum up, the area of ADQD prime is two times the area of this triangle. Two times four is going to be eight. And that's the final answer that we put in the box. Maybe to be less confusing we'll get rid of the box around that four so eight is what we would put in the box on our, our actual booklet and that's really it nothing more to say nice question number three onward to question number four where we're going to close off uh part a of the contest